Hello everyone! What if dinosaurs had not become extinct? This is a question that is often asked on the street. Tyrannosaurus in particular is the subject of much interest as a very famous species of dinosaur that existed in prehistoric times. Welcome to our channel! As always, we will try to elucidate. If Tyrannosaurus had survived the mass extinction between the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods, how would the Earth be different today? Are you interested? Then let's begin. Doomed to eventually perish Before trying to answer this question, we first need to know two things about Tyrannosaurus. That is, what kind of life did Tyrannosaurus live and what exactly caused its extinction? What is commonly known to the public would be like, simply put, it was the most gigantic dinosaur and it preyed on everything. They became extinct because of a meteorite. But this is a very one-sided view. There is, of course, some truth to this, but in reality, the situation is a bit more complicated. First of all, there are some things we need to understand. The commonly used term Tyrannosaurus is thought to refer to a single species, Tyrannosaurus rex. There are other dinosaurs that belong to the group of Tyrannosaurus, or more accurately, to the Tyrannosauridae. But, with your permission, we will not discuss them here. Hereafter, in this video, for the sake of clarity, Tyrannosaurus will refer to that species which is the most well-known and common in the world. Tyrannosaurus was not found everywhere on Earth. In fact, its range was limited to a small continent called La Ramadia, which existed during the late Cretaceous period. This is the western equivalent of the present-day North American continent. La Ramadia was a long continent from north to south, but very narrow from east to west. It was bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the east by what is now land called the Western Inland Seaway. Although Tyrannosaurus is often thought of as the largest dinosaur in history, this is not true. Nevertheless, at 13 meters in length and approximately 9.5 tons in weight, its scale is nothing short of impressive. There is no doubt that it was a carnivore, but it is not yet clear how it preyed. Some researchers believe that Tyrannosaurus was a predator that did not pursue prey, but rather ambushed them in the dense Cretaceous forests. Many others believe that they scavenged corpses and ate carrion. There is some doubt, however, as to whether they were carrion eaters. On the other hand, Tyrannosaurus may have eaten both live prey and carrion. In any case, the number of Tyrannosaurus itself was never large. It is obvious when you think about it, the continent of Laramadia is not that large and our hero this time has not been found anywhere else. Like other dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus was probably a homeotherm. This means that its basal metabolic rate was quite high, which means that it required more food. Their large size would have made their food requirements even greater. The forests of Laramadia were teeming with a wide variety of life, but they could not have supported that many Tyrannosaurus. Indeed, for a species with a small population and large food requirements, any major change in habitat would be a virtual death sentence in itself. It is possible for a species to adapt to a decrease in food availability if its body size decreases during the course of evolution. But evolution is based on changes in the genetic traits of offspring. If the number of offspring is small, there is almost no chance that mutations will emerge that will help them adapt to the new environment. This is precisely why large dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus were the first victims of the Great Famine that was suddenly triggered by a meteorite impact. When that doomed asteroid fell, the dust ejected by the impact covered the sun 
and plunged the earth into years of winter. After all, in the mass extinction between the Cretaceous and Paleogene, all the dinosaurs, pterosaurs and ichthyosaurs except birds were wiped out. Although only a few of these species survived for a short time, the Tyrannosaurus disappeared prematurely. In sum, there was essentially no chance that Tyrannosaurus would survive a meteorite impact. Even if there had been no meteorite impact, it would still have been doomed to eventual extinction. In the Cretaceous, the world itself was irreversibly changed. The continents of the Earth took on their present shapes and flowering plants emerged and expanded their habitats. Mammals, despite their small size, rapidly expanded their populations. In many places, fossils have been found in greater numbers than dinosaurs or reptiles. Mammals ate dinosaur eggs. Flowering plants enhanced the soil, thereby reducing shoreline erosion. This changed the chemical composition of the ocean. A world with Tyrannosaurus However, let us imagine a world in which, against all odds, Tyrannosaurus miraculously survived. In that case, would the entire ecosystem of the Earth have been affected? If so, how would it have affected it? Are we humans hunting Tyrannosaurs? Or are humans being hunted? Tyrannosaurus would most likely have occupied the ecological status of a large predator. As for how its presence affected the evolution of life, it depends on how far it was able to expand its habitat. On the other hand, it depends on how the continental plates move. For example, suppose that Laramidea had not merged with the other landmasses of North America. In that case, Tyrannosaurus would be endemic only to that continent, like the Australian kangaroo. Other parts of the globe would have evolved organisms without being affected by them. The dinosaurs would have eventually gone extinct or been relegated to a narrow position at the edge of the ecosystem. Perhaps the European explorers who discovered Laramidea in the Age of Discovery would describe Tyrannosaurus as a monstrous dragon. Suppose that Laramidea became part of the North American continent as per real geologic history. Tyrannosaurus probably extended its range over the entire continent or at least into forested areas. It would have migrated further south into the jungles of Central America during the Ice Age and then into the South American continent after it merged into a single continent. Eventually, by now, it would have been living somewhere in the Amazonian wilderness. Tyrannosaurus has never been found outside the Americas. It's unlikely that it would have traveled northward during the last ice age, crossed the frozen Bering Strait and settled on the Eurasian continent. It would have been too cold there to survive. What impact would this have had on biodiversity? At the very least, there would have been fewer larger mammalian predators. This is because Tyrannosaurus would have taken its ecological place. At the same time, small carrion eaters would have thrived on the leftovers of this powerful dinosaur's feast. Would Tyrannosaurus have been a danger to humans? Wonderfully, not really. Of course, if you encounter a hungry Tyrannosaurus while walking unarmed through the jungle, that is clearly a harbinger of misfortune. But with an organized group of hunters, it is quite possible to lure it into a pit and kill it, for example. The Tyrannosaurus's massive body would be an excellent source of meat for the entire tribe, and its skin should provide material for clothing. It is very likely that the Tyrannosaurus actually had feathers, which would have been used as ornaments. When European settlement with firearms began, the hunting of Tyrannosaurs quickly increased. By now, it might have become an endangered species. And the rich would have been able to buy Tyrannosaurus skin boots instead of crocodile skin on the black market. Now it is time for us to leave you, so we will end with this video. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We are only considering one scenario this time, 
whether or not Tyrannosaurus was the only one to escape extinction. If all the large reptiles of the Cretaceous had survived, everything would have been very different. Perhaps mammals would have continued to live in a system of same old, same old, on the outer fringes of the ecosystem, and humans would not have existed. But of course, if you request it in the comments, we will show you all the details in the next and subsequent videos. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to be the first to receive notifications of new releases. Also, your likes is the best compliment we can get. With that, we will soon say goodbye. See you again. Bye.